Good afternoon friends, today I will explain very important property that is piezoelectric effect. So what is piezoelectric effect? That piezoceramic or quartz generates a charge output when subjected to force. Okay. So whenever, uh, suppose this is a piezoelectric uh, crystal, when you apply some force across it, then in the upper surface and the lower surface, there some charge produces okay so suppose uh, in the upper surface positive charge generates then the in the lower surface negative charge will generate so basically what happens that there will be voltage difference between this and this means the upper surface and lower surface there then there will some there will be some pd okay potential difference will generate so this is nothing but piezoelectric effect so by applying force if charge or potential difference generates then that is called piezoelectric effect or piezo then the crystal is called piezoelectric crystal the example of piezoelectric crystal is you can see here quartz okay that type of materials are called piezoceramic materials okay now the mathematical expression of piezoelectric effect is given by q is equal to d into f okay so what is q q is the charge of crystal which is generated when we apply some force in it okay so it is expressed in in si unit it is expressed in coulomb now d is the charge sensitivity of the crystal okay it is a constant whose unit is coulomb per newton and force is applied force that is in si unit the unit is newton you, you, we all know now how the expression came i will explain see q proportional to force more you apply the force across the piezoelectric, piezoelectric material more the amount of charge generated across its surface so q proportional to f if you add a proportionality constant d then you can easily get q is equal to d into f this is the mathematical expression for piezoelectric effect okay so how charge or how some potential difference generates across two uh, surface of a piezoelectric material while applying force i will explain now okay see suppose we are considering uh, to explain the piezoelectric phenomenon we are considering sio2 that is silicon ox silicon oxide crystal in silicon oxide crystal there are two types of atoms the positive atom is silicon atom which is represented by green color green colored circle and the negative atom is oxygen atom which is represented by the sky blue color circle okay now the original structure of a uh, silicon dioxide in silicon dioxide crystal is like this this is a symmetric figure and see here oxygen here one oxygen atom here one oxygen atom all three are negatively charged and here one silicon here one silicon and here one silicon both uh, all three are positively charged now in this situation when no force is applied when no distortion is there in the crystal see the there is uniform uh, total uh, num total amount of positive charge equal to total amount of negative charge and as the charges are symmetrically distributed so there is no resultant charge across anywhere the plus nullifies the minus this plus nullifies this minus this plus nullifies this minus so no problem is there when you do not apply any force but what happens to, with this structure when you apply some force see when you apply some pushing force that means when you apply force in this way then see what happens then these two silicon atoms from here goes to this way okay now see in the upper side one oxygen atom and two silicon atoms okay so what is the resultant charge in the upper surface see this ply null nullify by this minus but there is one more positive charge so the resultant charge of the upper side is positive okay and for negative the reverse thing is happening one silicon is there two oxygen atoms negatively charged oxygen atoms cl come closer so in this situation this minus or this minus one minus will be nullified by this plus but one more minus will remain intact so that minus will produce a resultant negative charge in the lower side so now see when you apply some force then the in the upper side positive charge generates and in the lower side negative charge generate 
now what happens you if you apply some pulling force in the crystal see when some pulling force is applied then this silicon atom in the previous time it was here this come this side and here one oxygen atom this goes to this side here one silicon atom was there in the uh, when in the crystal where no force was applied that silicon atoms comes to this side and here one oxygen atom was there that oxygen atom comes to this side this plus minus nullifies this plus minus nullifies but see what is happening now in the upper surface the resultant charge is negative and in the lower surface the result resultant charge is positive now in this case when you apply some pulling force also then there are some charge generates across the two surface see this is reverse these two are reverse here plus is generating in the upper surface here minus is generating in the upper surface here minus is generating in the lower surface here plus is generating in the lower surface so in this way when you apply some force in the piezoelectric crystal or piezoelectric material then the distortion of crystal occurs and it generates some charge across the two surface okay so in this way uh, piezoelectric crystals produces voltage difference or charge across its two surface while applying some pressure or tension this is all about for my this video if this video helps you to boost your concept please like share and comment my videos and subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos thank you for watching